So a 32 gigabyte image purpose built 7,000 games focusing on eight and 16 bit games. None of those hacks, none of those samples, everything is full version, setup, bezels, launch screens. It's actually quite a beautiful image. You're gonna like this one, so stay tuned as we peep this one and thanks to Jared for building it. I have nothing to expect on this one. This was sent to me through uh, Facebook and uh, I may be available on uh, Arcade Punks uh, soon, but as of now, not yet. Now, the whole goal of this image, which I always like it when there's a certain approach to the image, and the approach to this image was to do only 8-bit and 16-bit systems. So no Nintendo 64, uh, no PlayStation. It is only a 32 gigabyte image, um, but uh, as you can see already, Sega Genesis instead of Mega Drive. Um, all the video snap, supposedly. So JPEG into video snap with all the classic systems, even includes the NES Classic Edition. No, um, okay, so even nice. Got the quakes and the dooms, very nice. Um, Looks like there's some other systems as well. Uh, Vetrix, okay. So, and then Daphne, you got Dragon's Lair and Space Ace. And then he did mention that he borrowed the uh, arcade config file from the Mad Little Pixel uh, image. So, uh, up to date arcade information and arcade games. So really nice. Also, he removed all game genie, genie games, all the hack games, samples, um, beta games, all that stuff. So it's a complete build in that respect. Last play, what do we got here? We got some Sega CD, Earthworm Jim, Quake. So it does have some of the full installs of the uh, Quake on here. As you see, JPEG into Video Snap. Looks like all these JPEGs are here, which is nice to see. Just scroll down here a little bit. Wow, it's looking really good, really complete. You know, usually you see a dead image or something. So it looks like an image that's been totally gone through, which is nice to see. Dunk Kong Country, great game. Earthbound, video snap. All right, and then Mortal Kombat 3, nice. Um, as far as themes, you got the SNES Mini, comic book, Space Oddity. Wow, a lot of themes to pick from. Let's just keep it on this one. All games, so even with video snaps, it's rocking 7,086 games. The reason you're able to fit all that on a 32 gigabyte image is because you know, you're not running any Nintendo 64, PlayStation. Um, I would say probably some of the biggest games are going to be these nine Sega CD games right here. Really nice. 32X. Got them all. With all the video snaps and JPEGs. Not a single broken image. Uh, ports. No video snaps. But all the JPEGs are here. So cool to see that. TurboGrafx CD, they're all there. Neo Geo Pocket Color, they're all there. And a video snap, nice. Regular Neo Geo Pocket, nice. NES Classic Edition. Let's launch a game really quick. Check this out, oh, really nice. Full screen, loading screens, and uh, bezels. All right, here we go. Come on, Mari, you can do it. Oh, I got stuck. I was gonna go for that hammer. Okay. It could have gone a lot better, but. So really cool uh, on the NES. Let's try uh, Neo Geo, for example. Let's. Oh, 
Let's try Metal Slug X. A lot of red on this image, I like it. Nice. Really basic um, bezels. They're not really that TV bezel as much as they're just taking up that extra uh, space there on the, on the sides. Thank you. Heavy machine gun. Get the cat. All right, cool. So Neo Geo works really good. And uh, let's try a, um, oh, let's see how the Game Boy games are set up. See if we got, what kind of bezels we got here. Oh, nice, yeah, this is my preference as far as with the Game Boy is the lower resolution. Doesn't stretch out the image. So really cool. Love this right here, the Game Boy Advanced. And then let's check out Game Boy really quick. Game Boy Cut, let's get a little color on here, of course. 1942. Little multicolor launch screen. Okay, nice. So again, screens um, uh, brought down to fit the uh, Game Boy color. That looks good. Let's try Game Boy. Loving all these uh, loading screens for each system. Okay, cool. Similar to Game Boy Color. Just a different Game Gear. Some more portables. And I have a feeling with uh, Neo Geo Pocket and some of the other portables, you're going to see something similar. Okay, I really like this. This is really cool. I love the HD-ness. Some really nice bezels on here. Uh, Game & Watch. Bomb Fight. Wow, this is even really cool. So, that's all set up nicely. Uh, let's try Atari Lynx. It seems like a lot of these launch screens go really well with the SNES mini theme, so I might keep the SNES mini theme as your default theme, it's really nice. Um, and then arcade, let's do an arcade really quick. All right, this is working good. Oh, we got the girl. Protect the girl. Oh, we got wrecked. Okay, so I think that was it. Um, you also have favorites on here as well. Config is running a newer version of RetroPie, which you're all set up there. Uh, it also has Virtual Boy, Vetrix. Uh, so all your Nintendos, your Ataris, your Segas, even Daphne, Game & Watch. Uh, really nice. I mean, I like I said, purpose-built images are great. Um, rather than just throwing everything together and hoping for the best, this was a purpose-built 8-bit, 16-bit, all the systems, all the video snaps, no missing artwork. Um, I haven't found a ROM that hasn't worked yet. Controls were just set up fine. Custom loading screens, custom bezels for every single system. So, um, you know, not much to knock this for. S squeezing in 7,000 games on a 32 gigabyte SD card. Again, that's a really cheap and expensive card to get. So, um, really solid, solid build. I'm gonna have to give this one an A because it, it delivers everything it promises. It's not trying to be something it's not. And so for those reasons, really good stuff. Great work on Jared. Uh, hopefully this gets released soon and once it does, um, I'm sure you'll hear about it. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you guys got any questions about this and we'll catch you on the next one.